Rejoice, O purest Mother, full of grace, most innocent. Even angels in their glory never shone more radiant. Pray for me. Heaven's Queen Mary, help us all who call on you, angelic hosts around you, singing praises of esteem, cherubim and seraphim. Know that you are heaven's queen. Pray for me, pray for me. Heaven's queen Mary, help us all who call on you. You, O Virgin Mother of Christ, all creation holds you dear. Seeing you at the most pure one, after your dormition, pray for me. Heaven's Queen Mary, help us all who call on you. The bright rays of the sun wondrously enlightens you. You shook loose the dust of earth. Never burn in sacred bush. Pray for me, pray for me. Heaven's Queen Mary, help us all who call on you. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. In peace let us pray to the Lord. The Lord have mercy. For peace from high and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For peace in the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy church and for all who enter it with faith, reverence and fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our holy father Francis, Pope of Rome, let us pray to the Lord. The Lord, have mercy. For our government, for our most and metropolitan William, for our God-loving Bishop Kurt, for the Venerable Presbyterate, the Diaconate in Christ, and all the clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our government and for all in the service of our country, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city, for every city community, and for the faithful living in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits on the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel by sea, air, and land, for the sake, the suffering, the captive, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That we be delivered from all affliction, wrath, and need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. 
protect us, save us, have mercy on us, and preserve us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, the dear Dokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another, <clears throat> and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit is due all glory, honor, and worship, now and ever and forever. Amen. Shout joyfully to the Lord, Amen. all the earth. Sing praise to his name, give to him glorious praise. Through the prayers of the Theotokos, O Savior, save us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Through the prayers of the Theotokos, O Savior, save us. Be gracious to us, O God, and bless us. Let your face shine upon us and have mercy on us. O Son of God, risen from the Save us who sing to you. Alleluia. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever virgin Mary and became man without change. You were also crucified, O Christ our God, and by death have trampled death, being one of the Holy Trinity, Glorified with the Father and the Holy Spirit, save us. Come, let us sing joyfully to the Lord. Let us acclaim with God our Savior, O Son of God, risen from the dead. Save us who sing to you. Alleluia. Praise them, be attentive. Come, let us worship and bow before Christ. O Son of God, risen from the dead, save us who sing to you. Alleluia. When you descended to death, O immortal life, you destroyed Hades by the brilliance of your divinity. And when you raise the dead from the depths of the earth, all the heavenly powers cried out, O giver of life, Christ our God, glory <laughs> to you. O Theotokos, in giving birth you preserved virginity, 
And in your falling asleep, you did not forsake the world. For you, the mother of life, and have been transferred to life. And through your prayers, you delivered our souls from the earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. The grave and death did not detain the Theotokos. She intercedes mm -hmm. without rest and is our unfailing hope of protection. For he who dwelt in the womb of the ever-Virgin transferred to life the Mother of Life. For you are holy, our God, and we give glory to you. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Holy and immortal, have mercy on us. strength and my song is the Lord. He has become my salvation. He has become my salvation. The Lord punished me severely, but did not hand me over to death. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. Wisdom. A reading from the first epistle of St. Paul the Apostle to the Corinthians. <clears throat> Let us be attentive. Brethren, although I may not be an apostle for others, I certainly am one for you. You are the very seal of my apostle and in the Lord. <coughs> my defense against those who criticize me is this. Do we not have the right to eat and drink? Do we not have the right to marry a believing woman like the rest of the apostles and the brothers of the Lord and Cephas? It is only myself and Barnabas who are forced to work for a living. What soldier in the field pays for his rations? Who plants a vineyard and does not eat of its yield? What shepherd does not nourish himself with the milk of his flock? You may think the reasons I am giving are merely human ones, but does not the law itself speak of these things? It is written in the law of Moses, You shall not muzzle ox while it treads out grain. 
Is God concerned here for oxen? Or does he not rather say this for our sakes? You can be sure it was written for us. For the plowman should plow and home, and the harvester expect to share in the grain. If we have sown for you in the spirit, is it too much to expect a material harvest from you? If others have this right over you, is it not our right even greater? But, but we have not used this right. On the contrary, we put up with all sorts of hardship, so as not to place any obstacle in the way of the gospel of Christ. Peace be to the reader. Wisdom be attentive. Hallelujah. 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 The Lord will hear you on the day of distress. The name of Jacob's God will protect you. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Go up, Lord, to your rest, you and your holy ark. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. to the Holy Gospel, peace be to all. And to your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. Let us be attentive. The Lord said, The reign of God may be said to be like a king who decided to settle accounts with his officials. When he began his auditing, one was brought in who owed him a huge amount. As he had no way of paying it, his master ordered him to be sold along with his wife, his children, and all his property in payment of the debt. As the official prostrated himself in homage and said, My Lord, be patient with me, and I will pay you back in full. Moved with pity, the master let the official go and wrote off the debt. But when that same official went out, he met a fellow servant who owed him a mere fraction of what he <coughs> himself, himself owed. He seized him and throttled him, pay back what you owe. He denied his fellow servant, drop, dropped to his knees and began to plead with him. Just give me time and I will pay you back in full. But he would hear none of it. Instead, he had him put in jail until he paid back what he owed. When his fellow servants saw what had happened, they were badly shaken and went to their master to report the whole incident. His master sent for him and said, You worthless wretch! I cancelled you entire debt when you pleaded with me. Should you not have dealt mercifully with your fellow servant as I dealt with you? 
Then in anger, the master handed him over to the torturers until he paid back all that he owed. My heavenly Father will treat you in exactly the same way unless each of you forgives his brother from his heart. Glory to you. Spirit. Amen. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory be forever. Slava Jesus Christ. Slava Navi. Dear brothers and sisters, uh, on this 11th Sunday after Pentecost, the Church calls us to remember the importance of forgiveness and mercy in our lives. Today we read a passage from the Gospel from Matthew, chapter 18 from 23rd to 35 verses. But if we take the sequences of chapters from this evangelist, then already in chapter 6, from 5 to 15 verse, we have the opportunity to read about prayer, our Father in which already at one of the first place, places there is a request for forgiveness of our sins. In conclusion, we can say that it is practically impossible to get forgiveness of our sins without forgiveness, without mercy, which we can show to others. Throughout our lives, Forgiveness is a condition of salvation. If we do not forgive people their sins, then our Heavenly Father will not forgive, forgive us our sins. Each of us always expects a certain mercy, understanding, benevolence from other people, but others expect the same. We are all very similar. We are often demanding of others. We count one's all faults, one's, one's all shortcomings, faults. We can say that we are specialists in others' deeds, prosecutors for others. And we very often justify ourselves with many arguments. We are like lawyers for ourselves. The refusal of forgive to show mercy is very often connected with the desire for revenge. But forgiveness like revenge itself injures the avenger no less than the victim. It's like a child sitting on a park bench and squealing in a voice that's not his own. Uh, and man saw this, runs up and asked, what happened? I said a bumblebee, the child says, with tears in his voice. Well, get up quickly, says the man. I won't get up. It beat me, and I will strangle it in return, the boy replies. You know, spiritual healing begins when we get off the bench and stop hurting others. And to many, revenge seems sweet. Instead of pardon from heart, forgiveness, trying to understand, man chooses revenge. 
once while a, a, a woman was paying in the supermarket. A television remote control fell out of her bag and surprised the salesman asked if she always carries a remote control in her bag. Oh no, the woman replied. My husband simply refused to go shopping because he wanted to watch baseball. So she took the TV remote with her as a sign of revenge. But if instead of forgiveness, understanding and mercy, we chose revenge, condemnation of others, then what will be our answer when we stand before the Lord? Won't the Lord change his mercy to justice? Just like he did with the unmerciful servant today. Because he accepted forgiveness from his master, but didn't know how to show forgiveness. But he wanted justice. He did not want mercy, and it retreated from him. He wanted justice, and he got it himself. If we don't know how to be merciful and forgive our neighbors, then we cannot accept mercy. And then justice remains. And who among us will stand before God's justice? Glory to Jesus Christ. Let us all say with our whole soul and with our whole mind, let us say, Lord have mercy. O Lord Almighty, God of our fathers, we pray you hear and have mercy. Lord have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy, we pray you hear and have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for our Holy Father Francis Pope of Rome and for our most reverend and metropolitan William, for our God-loving Bishop Kurt, for those who serve and have served in this Holy Church, for our spiritual fathers, and for all our brothers and sisters in Christ. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our government and for all in the service of our country. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again we pray for the people here present who await your great and abundant mercy, for those who show us mercy and for all Christians of the true faith. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Merciful and loving God, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy. We pray you hear and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. of the soul of the departed servant of God John and that his every transgression voluntary and involuntary be forgiven. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May the Lord God commit his soul to the place where the just repose. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. For the mercy of God, for the kingdom of heaven, and for the remission of his 
his sins. Let us beseech Christ, the immortal King and our God. Grant this, O Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O God of spirits and of all flesh, who trampled that and broke the power of the devil and granted life to your womb, now grant rest, O Lord, to the soul of your departed servant John, in a place of light, joy, and peace, where there is no pain, sorrow, no mourning. As a good and loving God, forgive every sin committed by him in word, deed, or thought. Science, there is no one who lives and does not sin. You alone are without sin. Your justice is eternal justice, and your word is truth. For you, O Christ, our God, are the resurrection, the life, and the repose of your departed servant, John. And we give glory to you, with your eternal Father, and your all holy, good, and light creating spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Let us who mystically represent the chair. of our country and the ever honorable founders and benefactors of this holy church may the lord god remember all you christians of the true faith always now and ever and forever amen that we may receive receive the Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life creating spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Peace be to all. And to your spirit. Let us pray.
Let us love one another that with one mind we may profess the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, the Trinity, one in essence and undivided. In wisdom, let us be attentive. I believe. One God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, the only begotten, born of the Father before all ages, light from light, true God from true God. Begot, not made, one in essence with the Father, through whom all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven, and was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, and suffered and was buried. He rose on the third day according to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. And he is coming again in glory to judge the living and the dead. And his kingdom will have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father. Together with the Father and the Son, he is worshiped and glorified. He spoke through the prophets in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I profess one baptism for the remission of sin. I expect the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. <clears throat> Amen. Let us stand right, let us stand in all, let us be attentive to offer the holy and offering peace. Mercy, peace, a sacrifice of praise. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God and Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. Let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. sing to you, to bless you, to grace you, to thank you, to worship you in every place of your dominion, for you are God, ineffable, inconceivable, invisible, incomprehensible, ever existing, yet ever the same, you and your only begotten Son, in your Holy Spirit, you brought us out of non-existence into being, and again raised us up when we had fallen, and left nothing undone until you brought us to heaven and gave us your kingdom to come. For all this we thank you, and your only begotten Son, in your Holy Spirit, for all that we know and that we do not know, for the manifest and hidden benefits bestowed on us, we also thank you for this liturgy which you are pleased to accept from our hands. Even though there stand before you thousands of archangels, tens of thousands of angels, cherubim and seraphim, six-winged, many-eyed, soaring aloft on their wings, singing, shouting, crying aloud, and sing triumphal hymn. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. Heaven and earth are filled with your glory, O Son Blessed is he who comes in the name 
of the Lord, Hosanna in the high We also cry out with this blessed power, loving and kind Master, and say, Holy are you and all holy you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. Holy are you and all holy and magnificent is your glory. You will so loud your world that you gave your only begotten Son so that everyone who believes in him should not perish but have life everlasting. He came and fulfilled the whole divine plan in our behalf. On the night he was betrayed, or rather when he surrendered himself for the life of the world, he took bread into his holy and all pure and immaculate hands, gave thanks and blessed sanctified, broke, and gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take it, this is my body which is broken for you, for the remission of sin. Amen. Drink of this, all of you, this is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many, for the remission of sin. Amen. Remembering therefore the saving command and all that has come to pass in our behalf, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection on the third day, ascension into heaven, the sitting at the right hand, and the second coming in glory, offering you your own from your own. Always and everywhere, we praise you, we bless you, we thank you, O Lord, and we pray to you, pray to you, our God. Lord, we offer to you the spiritual sacrifice and we employ your pray and entreat you send down your Holy Spirit upon us and upon this gift lying before us and make this bread the precious body of your Christ Amen. and that which is in this chalice the precious blood of your Christ Amen. changing them by your Holy Spirit that for those who partake of them, they may bring about a spirit of vigilance, the remission of sins, the communion of your Holy Spirit, the fullness of the heavenly kingdom, and confidence in you, not judgment or condemnation. Moreover, we offer to you the spiritual sacrifice for those departed in faith, the forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and for every just spirit brought to perfection and faith especially for our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theodokos and ever Virgin Mary. The angels were struck with amazement, beholding the door mission of the most pure, seeing how the Virgin was taken up from earth to heaven. The limits of nature are overcome in you, O most pure Virgin. Forgiving birth remains virginal and death is the prelude to life. A virgin after childbearing and alive after death, you ever save your inheritance, O Theotokos. Among the first, O Lord, Remember our Holy Father Francis, Pope of Rome, our most reverend and metropolitan William, our God-loving Bishop Kurt, 
Preserve them for your holy churches in peace, safety, honor, and health for many years as they faithfully impart the word of your truth. And remember all your people. Remember, O Lord, the city in which we dwell, and every city and community, and the faithful living in them. Remember, O Lord, those who travel by sea and land, the sick, the suffering, the captive, and grant them salvation. Remember, O Lord, those who bring offerings and perform good deeds in your holy churches, and those who remember the poor, and upon all of us send down your mercy, and grant that with one voice and one heart we may glorify and praise your most honored and magnificent name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. In the mercies of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, be with all of you. And with your spirit. Now that we have commemorated all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the precious gifts offered and consecrated, that our God who loves us all may receive them on his holy heavenly and mystical altar as an aroma of spiritual fragrance and send down upon us in return his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. That we be delivered from all affliction, wrath, and need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Protect us, save us, have mercy on us, and preserve us. O God, by your grace, Lord, have mercy, that this whole day be perfect, holy, peaceful, and without sin. Let us beseech the Lord, grant this, O Lord, for an angel of peace, a faithful guide and guardian of our souls and bodies. Let us beseech the Lord, grant this, O Lord, for the burden and remission of our sins and offenses. Let us beseech the Lord, grant this, O Lord, for what is good and beneficial to our souls and for peace in the world. Let us beseech the Lord, grant this, O Lord, that we may spend the rest of our life in peace and repentance. Let us beseech the Lord, grant this, O Lord, for Christian painless, unashamed, peaceful, and of our life and for a good account before the fearsome judgment seat of Christ. Let us beseech the Lord, grant this, O Lord, for unity in the faith. And for communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. To you, O Master, who loves us all, we commit our whole life and hope, and we employ, employ our pray and entreat you, make us worthy to partake with a clear conscience of your heavenly and awesome mysteries from this sacred and spiritual table. May they bring about the remission of sins, the pardon of transgressions, the communion of the Holy Spirit, the inheritance of the kingdom of heaven, confidence in you, not judgment or condemnation. And make us worthy, O Master, that we may with confidence and without condemnation dare call you Father, God of heaven, and say, Our Father who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For sign is the kingdom and the power and the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Peace be to all. And to your spirit. Bow your heads to the Lord.
to you, O Lord. We give you thanks, invisible King, for by your immeasurable power you have fashioned all things, and in the greatness of your mercy have brought all things out of non-existence into being. Look down from heaven, O Master, upon those who bow their heads to you, for they do not bow to flesh and blood, but to the awesome God. Therefore, O Master, make smooth for the good of all the path that lies ahead, according to the need of each. Sail with those who sail, travel <clears throat> with those who travel. Cure those who are sick, of physician, of souls and bodies. Through the grace, the mercies, and the loving kindness of your only begotten Son, with whom we are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life creating spirit, now and ever and forever. Ah, amen. Let us be attentive, holy gifts to holy people. that you are truly Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. Accept me today as a partaker of your mystical supper, O Son of God, for I will not reveal your mystery to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as to Judas, but like the thief I profess you. Remember me, O Lord, when you come in your kingdom. Remember me, O Master, when you come in your kingdom. Remember me, O Holy One, when you come in your kingdom. May the partaking of your holy mysteries, O Lord, be not for my judgment or condemnation, but for the healing of soul and body. O Lord, I also believe and profess that this which I'm about to receive is truly your most precious body and your life-giving blood, which I pray make me worthy to receive for the remission of all my sins and for life everlasting. Amen. O oh God, be merciful to me, a sinner. O oh God, cleanse me of my sins and have mercy on me. O oh Lord, forgive me, for I have sinned without number. Praise the Lord, the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the highest. Praise him in the highest. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Approach with fear of God and with faith. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The Lord is God and has revealed himself to us. I shall take the chalice of salvation. Call and call upon the name of the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. Yeah. 
face most innocent, even when angels in their glory never shone more
Will you be our intercessor? You are free of every sin. Pray for me, pray for me, heaven's queen Mary. Help us all who call on you. Pray for me, pray for me, heaven's queen Mary. Help us all who call on you. Rejoice, O purest mother, full of grace most innocent. Even angels in their glory never shone more radiant. Pray for me, pray for me, heaven's queen Mary, help us all who call on you. Pray for me, pray for me, heaven's queen Mary, help us all who call on you, angelic hosts around you, singing praises of esteem. Cherubim and seraphim, know that you are heaven's queen. Pray for me, pray for me, heaven's queen Mary. Help us all who call on you. Save your people, O oh God, and bless your inheritance. We have seen the true light. We have received the heavenly spirit. We have found the true faith, and we worship the undivided Trinity. For the Trinity has saved us. Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and forever. Amen. May our mouth be filled with your praise, O Lord, so that we may sing of your glory, sing of your glory. For you have deemed us worthy to partake of your holy, divine, immortal, pure and life-creating mysteries. Keep us in your holiness so that all the day long we may live according to your truth. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. <clears throat> Rise now that we have received the divine, holy, most pure, immortal, heavenly, <clears throat> life creating and also mysteries of Christ. Let us worshipfully thank the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For you are our sanctification, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. In the name of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have <coughs> mercy. Lord, blessing those who bless you, and sanctifying those who trust in you, 
Save your people and bless your inheritance. Preserve the fullness of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them in return by your divine power and do not forsake as who hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the priests, to our government and to all your people. For all generous giving and ever perfect gift is from above coming down from you, the Father of lights. And we give glory, thanksgiving, and worship to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord, now and forever, now and forever, now and forever. The blessing of the Lord be upon you through His grace and loving kindness, always, now and ever and forever. our hope. Glory to you. Glory to the Father, Father and, and to the, the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Give the blessing. May Christ, our true God, risen from the dead, have mercy on us and save us through the prayers of His most pure Mother, Godliness of this Holy Church, and of the Holy Glorious and Illustrious Apostles, of our Holy Father John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, and through the prayers of all the saints, for Christ is good and loves us all. Glory be forever. Now, after announcements, we will have anointing uh, of the occasion of the feast of the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary, which was on Monday. But uh, this week, um, this week I sent out invitations uh, to the parish picnic to all the families on my on my list. But uh, if any of you don't receive um, this invitation in the mail this week, don't worry, uh, the invitation will be available here next Saturday um, along with, uh, with the forms. Maybe my list is not full. I, maybe I, I found this list uh, uh, um, with address so Maybe some address not correct. Maybe some people they change uh, address, or maybe even uh, passed away. So I don't know. I I send. So you wait this week. But if you don't receive, uh, we will have you will have a chance uh, take here uh, invitation uh, with together with uh, with forms. Uh, next is if uh, any anyone has question or proposals or suggestions, uh, feel free to st stay to stay after liturgy here and ask me. Uh, don't don't ask one another. <laughs> if you have some question, please stay <laughs> and ask me. If I will can, I will answer. If, if not, so we will we will uh, looking a, a good way <laughs> for for your question. So, um, next, uh, please uh, pay attention to the liturgy schedule. This this uh, week on, on Wednesday, uh, no liturgy on Wednesday. It's not here. It's not in our parish here. It's Saint John. But some some our parishioners they they uh, visit Saint John sometimes. Wednesday or Friday, so please uh, pay attention. Uh, it seems to me that's it. Uh, thank you all for uh, praying together today. Have a great uh, weekend and blessed week. Glory be to Jesus Christ. Glory be to Christ. Slava Jesus Christ. Slava Nadeki. Christ among us. He is in Chelsea. To all priests in the monastic order, 
to all our parishioners here present, to all our brothers and sisters in Christ, and to all Christians of the true faith, grant to Lord many years. God grant us many years. God grant us many years. God grant us many blessed years. In health and happiness, in health and happiness, God grant us many blessed years. Immaculate Mary, our hearts are on fire. That title so wondrous fills all our desire. Rejoice, 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 O Mary. Rejoice, 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 O Mary.